Hey guys, what's going on? It's Segner coming to you guys with a set review for the new Lego Batman Wave of Sets. And here we have the Mr. Freeze Bat Cycle Battle. And uh, the figures we have here are Mr. Freeze, Batman, and Robin. And uh, let's get into that. Starting off with Mr. Freeze, we have um, his uh, new Freeze gun, which uh, our Freeze Ray cold gun whatever um and it's constructed of two trans blue cylinder blocks the new well at least new to me the um the uh circular um bricks with the hollow pieces with the hollow studs on it um and a, a normal clip clip piece and a lego pistol with one of the hollow black studs attached to it and then we also have the whip piece uh, connecting the cold gun to the back of Mr. Freeze's backpack thing that like is like a gold thing whatever it is <laughs> um, but just getting that out of the way um, the head um, utilizes a uh, fishbowl helmet used for a uh, the Mysterio Spider-Man Far From Home sets, which uh, really glad to have like a third one of these. Um, the Mr. Freeze head looks pretty nice. I really like the um, the goggles and the detail on those goggles. The uh, cheek printing looks pretty good, um, and uh, there's nothing really too much on the back except for the uh, continuation of the silver band. But moving that neck brace, um, you get a good look at the back there. Um, and, uh, you know, he has the white arms as, you know, uh, he's wearing a tank top and, well, yeah, that. Um, and then getting a good look at the front, he has, like, some tubes coming out of his chest with, like, some mechanical box thing and some, uh, I don't know what those things are called. They, uh, they're kind of like, um, thermometer things, but, like, I don't know. And then you have something sort of... Uh, similar to like the uh, trans blue cylinders next to that box so pretty cool my first and you have no uh, uh, Lego no no leg printing on this figure uh, pretty cool for uh, my first mr. freeze figure I missed out on the uh, first mr. freeze figure with in the uh, Batman and Aquaman set but this one looks pretty nice I really like it um, and it's uh, it's pretty pretty sweet <laughs> pretty sweet so yeah so moving on, we've got the Batman himself, Bruce Wayne, with the standardized black cape, um, a really nice uh, dark uh, gray torso printing, and it looks pretty cool. I really like the way it uh, it looks. There's only one problem I have with this figure, and that is the skin tone. I hate Lego and the way that they constantly put, they constantly print, um light colors on dark colored heads so um to fix that this is the only thing the only batman figure that i had that's like that because all the because the other two i kind of painted it in and you can see the difference too you can see how different the uh, the uh the skin looks so um that's pretty much the only uh problem i have with this figure and uh the goggles uh, above the eyes looks really nice because it's better than just having a random uh, white headband above the eyes like um, in past Lego Batman heads. So that's that's nice now. Um, and getting a good look at the alternate facial expression. He's got a smile. Don't know why he's normally brooding. So uh, maybe he'd become more pissed off than he is on the on the front on the alternative facial expression, but you know, not too big of a problem for me. Um, and then getting a good look at the back by flipping up the cape, he's got a nice little design there with a continuation of the black and goldish belt. And then you have no uh, leg printing and no arm printing either, which I I didn't mention about a uh, Mister Freeze, but you know. Lego doesn't often print uh, arm printing on uh, figures, so bat new Batman figure, love it, really great. Only problem, the skin tone. So uh, let's move on to Robin. So the Lego Robin figure has the uh, short black legs, and I hate Lego when they do that. 
I just hate it so much. So I'm just gonna quickly change the legs to some taller legs because I hate when Lego does that. And uh, now he just looks much better. He just needs a longer cape. And I hate that Lego has started to uh, make shorter capes for uh, shorter figures. So I just take um, this cape off. And it's not a bad cape. I just don't like how short it is. So I'm taking that cape off and putting on the Loki cape from um, the uh, Thor Ragnarok sets from two years ago. And uh, he has the alternate facial expression now. Um, he's got a smile, which it's okay for him to smile because he's not... Um, as brooding as Batman is and then he does have the black sleepy hair piece and uh, you know no arm printing just standard black arms with uh, green hands and then getting a good look at the back he's got some nice little detail on there and believe it or not this is my first actual Robin figure and it is not a disappointment I love the character of Robin he's amazing and uh, yeah so before we get on to the actual bat cycle, I'm going to go on to uh, Mr. Freeze's snow machine kind of thing. So um, just to move, just to get Mr. Freeze out of the way. Um, it's a pretty nice uh, um, build. I mean, you got the um, the shield like things I on the uh, the two on the front and then one in the back. Both all three of them are all posable um, on each side. And then you have the. Um, I don't know what you would call these clip pieces, but uh, these are molded in gray this time around, which is uh, really cool. And then you have a sticker on a control panel here, which is uh, pretty cool, but not sure how he's going to be able to use those two um, analog sticks while he's holding his uh, cold gun. But, you know, I'm not the uh, mayor of Lego stickers, so, you know, whatever. And then uh, there's this new piece on here, which uh, looks really cool. I really like it. And, um, you know, you just put it on there. So <laughs> this is actually a pretty e nice build. It's pretty easy to make. Um, if you have your own pieces, you can probably make it just by looking at it. So um, that's great. And then you have these new wheel-like pieces on this machine. And it's really cool. I really like it. And um, I'll uh, review those pieces in a second. So then what you do with Mr. Freeze, you put him on this one by two available space and then his cold gun just in his hand. And uh, yeah, I don't know if um, maybe when he is in the, uh, the the snow machine, if you're supposed to like take off the uh, the whip and then just like put it in one of these things. But I'm going to assume not. But if you do. That's a really cool thing. It kind of looks cool when uh, when I just did it just there. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm just going to put that back in there if it would like to. Oh, did I did I even show that whole part? Like, if you put it put it in there, it kind of looks, looks kind of cool. But, you know, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it. I don't know. Let me, let me check on the box real quick. Let's check on the box. Turn it around. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about that. So, you know, whatever. Um... Mr. Freeze, pretty cool, love him, and uh, yeah. Before we get on to the bat cycle, um, I just want to discuss all these new pieces that um, have just been p placed in these new Batman sets, because now you have like a really nice uh, grappling hook now, and that's really cool. You have like these like bomb things, and uh, there's even one that you get to put on the actual build, and it goes like right there on a stud shooter. And then, if you don't know how stud shooters work, you basically just push down on the gray lever there. And I'm just gonna put these figures to the side for right now. If you push on that lever, the gray lever right there, it fires. And uh, you know, luckily that didn't go far. But you do get like uh, four of them, including the uh, the one with the uh, stud shooter. And then you do get uh, four of these other ones which are pretty cool. I really like them. They're kind of smaller than the other ones, but you know, they're pretty cool. And they are both put on, all four of them are put on these guns that go on both sides of the bat cycle, which is really awesome. And uh, yeah, and then the grappling hook is attached to two studs, and that is because it goes on another stud shooter, and it, it is for Batman. And uh, you just take Batman, you put it there, and uh, if that would cooperate, thank you. And then uh, you just, 
use it the same way you would use any stud shooter and push down on the gray lever and it fires like an actual grappling hook. Unfortunately, there is no like string to attach to it, so it's not like um, one of those things where it's like um, in like those Jurassic Park or Jurassic World sets where it's like you have the hook and uh, you like attach it to a tree or something. It's nothing like that. But you do get um, a, uh, a uh, uh, what, is it, what are these things called? Battering. You get one of these things for Batman. And uh, it's really cool. I really like it. Um, really great addition. And on the other side, if this thing would like to go on. Come on. Go. There we go. Got it. And then on the other side, we do have a katana for uh, Robin here. So it does give you two, though. If I can find the other one. Where is it? It's right here. Here it is. He does get two, so if you want to make him, like, dual-wielding swords, it, the sword is an extra piece, so, you know. Um, and you can put it on uh, both sides if you want, and, uh, like, take one sword, put it there, and then take the other sword and put it there. Me, I would have put um, batterings on them, or even put, like, the newer batterings um released in the newer sets like put one on this side and then one on the other i do have two of them for that so anyway uh let's just uh move on and put this thing back on there and then uh before i forget about these stickers there's uh one sticker here one there one there two control panel stickers and that one is printed and that's pretty cool I like the uh, the print on the on that tile. You do get another one of these tiles too with the same kind of printing, which is cool. But anyway, on to the real reason why it's called the Bat Cycle, which if you haven't seen on the back of the box, uh, you haven't been able to see on the back of the box, but you know you can see it on on the bottom. Um, but anyway, you know it does split into two. So like, if uh, you know um, Batman and Robin are like chasing Mr. Freeze and um, Mr. Freeze is able to like go around like one of these beam things and then you know Batman and Robin are about to like run into it because their thing is just so big because you know Mr. Freeze is just a freaking lame villain who has low money in his account in his bank account yeah that's the best I got Anyway, so, like, they would, like, split into two and then maybe, like, uh, go back once they passed it. But, you know, who knows? Um, oh, and I forgot to talk about the other two pieces. Oh, <sighs> of course, when I review the stickers, I forget about at least one or two. There's a sticker right there and one right there, which is cool. So, but anyway, there are a few more pieces to go with. Uh, the pieces that I showed you you guys earlier and they're like the uh, disc pieces that you saw on uh, Mr. Freeze's snow machine thing like the one here and the one here you get one on the uh, back on the back wheels so, no, two on the back wheels one on one side and then one on the other and then you do get um, the uh, n newer they're new to me like these new uh, bat pieces um, but anyway um, I think uh, that's going to do it for uh, for this video, guys. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel, as always. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye-bye. We're going to hit the thing. The beam. Separate. Wait, what? I don't know how to drive a car, Batman. Oh. That sucks. Goodbye. This is why you didn't become Robin until later.